Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Troubleshooting Labs Introduction. Series 2 provides you with 20 troubleshooting videos, and these videos are directed at both certification and real-world application. So what this means is if you are studying for any Cisco certification, such as the CCNA, the CCMP T-Shoot, or even the CCIE Routing and Switching Lab Exam, these videos are going to provide you with a solid foundation of troubleshooting skills on how to troubleshoot very complex and advanced networks. Also, this is going to give you a great foundation of skills for real-world application for your job. So again, Series 2 provides you with 20 troubleshooting videos, and these videos include the topics of BGP, OSPF, EIGRP, RIP version 2, IPv6, FHRP, frame relay, layer 2 switching, and more. So the basic and the general layout of these labs is that you're going to be presented a network diagram and also some corresponding trouble tickets. So there's going to be some problems with the network and it's going to be your job to figure out what these problems are. And what I'm going to provide you with is the initial device configurations, the gns3.net file, and also a PDF file with the trouble tickets. So if we were to look at this, if we go ahead and pull up our Series 2, all of the videos on Series 2, if we go into, let's say, OSPF Troubleshooting Lab 1 and double click on the folder, we can see that we have OSPF Troubleshooting lab number one, the MP4, which is the video. We also see that we have a PDF. If, and we also see that we have the initial configs folder and the gns3.net file folder. So if we double click on the PDF file, you can see that we have two trouble tickets with OSPF troubleshooting lab number one. So what you're going to see is that you're going to be given a task or a problem that we see in the current network topology that we have to find a solution for. So also we have the initial configs. Again in this lab we have two routers, router 1 and router 2, and there are text files. So the way we would do this is we would just copy this whole file and then we will go and start our .NET file our build out our network topology however you want to do it. Again we see that this is a very simple network topology. We have two routers, router 1 and 2 and this is OSPF troubleshooting lab number 1. So the way we do this is just start our router and then when it's done starting we would just go into global configuration mode and then just paste our we'll just paste router 1 the initial config into router 1. So that's how you would start one of the labs. And again, what you want to do in, in this scenario is you can get both the routers up and running, and then you can go ahead and read the PDF. So again, the PDF in this case is going to be OSPF troubleshooting lab number one. You just go through and try to figure out what the problem is with the network. So what you can do too is you can follow along with me in my video or you can just watch the video if you don't want to or if you don't have access to a lab or GNS3 and you just want to watch the video you can go ahead and do that too so what I'm just providing you with is a lot of different options you can do the lab on your own you can watch the video if you want or you can do the lab and watch the video at the same time so this just provides you with a lot of options to choose from so there's a couple of troubleshooting labs that you're going to find out that there's a couple of initial configuration pieces that we have to, to do. And, and these labs are specifically IP services troubleshooting, lab one, and also our layer two troubleshooting labs. So for instance, if we go into IP services troubleshooting lab number one and pull up the PDF file, we can see that we have a note that says 
for help with setting up the CUST1 or the Customer1 cloud device in GNS3, please watch the video IP Services Troubleshooting Lab number one. So what they're saying, what I'm telling you in this instance is, if we go to the .NET file, if we look at our if we look at our current configuration, our network diagram, we can see that we have a cloud device. And so what I'm going to do is I provide you with a video on how to set up your cloud device. So this is going to be very helpful for you to get the initial configuration done before you can start troubleshooting. So again, what you're going to do is you'll just go to the IP services troubleshooting lab number one setup and then you just watch that video to figure out how to set up the lab. Also with the layer 2 troubleshooting labs these are the same way. Both layer both lab 1 and 2 of the layer 2 troubleshooting videos have the same network topology And so what you can do if, if we go into layer 2 troubleshooting lab number one, if we open up the PDF file, we can see that we have a note that says for help setting up the connection from host 1, 2, 3, and 4 within GNS3 to the real sw Cisco switches using the cloud device in GNS3, please watch the video called layer 2 troubleshooting lab setup. So layer 2 troubleshooting lab number one and two, you're going to need real Cisco switches to follow me in these videos and practice these videos on your own. So what I'm using in my lab is I'm, I'm using two Cisco 3550s which can be bought for pretty low price nowadays. If we go back to our folder for layer 2 troubleshooting lab 1, if we go into the gns3.net file, if we go into that folder and double click on the .net This is going to bring up one of our sample configurations. Again, layer 2 troubleshooting lab 1 and 2 have the same exact network topology for the most part. And what we can see is host 1, host 3, host 2, and host 4. These devices are going to connect to the cloud. Again, this, these are devices within GNS3 and they're going to be connecting to our real Cisco switches. So I provide you with a lab on how to set this up. I'm sorry, a video on how to set this up. And you can see this is the video called Layer 2 Troubleshooting Lab Setup. So you can go ahead and just open up this folder and watch this video and this will help you with configuring this the Layer 2 Troubleshooting Labs. So again, the once you do this once or twice, you'll get the configuration down pretty well and you'll know how to do it. It's, it's not too hard to do, but again, it acquires some, some extra attention to detail. And that's why I created an extra video for you guys to practice these troubleshooting labs. So again, I just want to, I just want to bring that up to you just so that you know. And again, these videos are these troubleshooting labs are going to be great for CCNA troubleshooting, CCMP T shoot exam, and also the CCI writing switching lab exam. So again, these are some there are some basic tasks, and then there are some very advanced troubleshooting tasks all the way up to the CCI level. So again, sorry about that message. So again, what I want to just emphasize is that I've taken the CCI writing and switching lab exam twice, once in RTP, North Carolina, and once in San Jose, California. And the second time I took the routing switching lab exam, I passed the troubleshooting section. So I know how to troubleshoot like a CCIE, and I want to just provide you guys with some of that knowledge at a price that nobody else can even come close to in the current market. So again what I'm going to do is explain and help you step by step from a CCIE level of understanding on how to properly troubleshoot advanced and complex networks.
So thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one.